Good afternoon. I'm Don Gross from Apollo Marketing. This afternoon I wanted to talk to you about how you develop a cut resistant product line. For our new product line at Apollo Marketing that are color coded by the ANSI cut level, we've done a lot of cut resistance testing. Today we're going to show you how, you how you do that test, how the test is performed, and what the results tell you. And you'll see that all of our product lines are backed by an exquisite amount of data. And these gloves are developed not only for their comfort, but also for their durability and especially for their cut resistance. In North America, the ASTM F1790 is the accepted test methodology for doing cut resistance testing. This is a copy of the standard. If you look in the body of the standard ASTM F1790-05, you'll see that the TDM100 is outlined in this test. This is the machine that is the most current machine for doing cut resistance testing either by the ASTM F1790 method or the ISO method. For the ASTM method, a specific style of razor blade is used and it takes 15 different razor blades to perform one ASTM cut resistance testing. So for the Apollo Level 2 Yellow Glove, Apollo Cut Level 3 Cut Resistant Glove, or the Cut Level 4 Red Glove, we used at least 15 razor blades for each one of the tests to arrive at the ANSI Cut Resistance rating. On the TDM100, the first thing that we step that we take is we mount the test material. This is the yellow glove, and it's mounted onto the mandrel with the copper strip on it and then we place the razor blade above it in the holder. We tighten it down. We always wear cut resistant gloves when we touch these razor blades because they are very hazardous. Now we check the weights over here. For this test we've added 1800 grams of weight from our precision uh, weights. And now we bring the uh, glove material in contact with the razor blade and on the TDM100 we start the test we're measuring the millimeters until it's cut through which ends up being 15.3 millimeters that's the blade travel until the razor blade has cut through the glove material made contact with the copper strip and is shorted out after the cut test is finished each cut test the razor blade is removed Again, we use 15 razor blades per test and we throw it away. So we collect a lot of blades from the, when we do cut resistance testing. If you look, we want to emphasize that we are using 1800 grams of weight in this test from our precision weight collection. And we anticipate this glove will be an ANSI cut level 3. So you see the gloves labeled ANSI cut level 3. And the abrasion level is listed as ANSI abrasion level 6, which is the highest rating. So that's where we test the palm with the abrasion and in the abrasion test to see how many cycles it lasts until the abra uh, hole is worn in the glove. Oh my gosh. Okay. They always call it the worst times. Um, hello, this is Don at Apollo Marketing. How can I help you? Well, I, right now is not a very good time. I'm kind of in a movie right now. Um, oh, you like our Apollo Tool Grabber Cut Protect 3 glove. Oh, you're using it. Yeah, yes, it is. It is. A, it is definitely ANSI Cut Level 3, and it provides excellent protection. And, and I can tell you for sure that it is a touchscreen glove. The touchscreen definitely works. You can use your phone. You can answer your phone without taking your glove off and use it just fine. Yes, yes. Well, thank you for calling, and you have a nice day, and be safe. So the cut levels are recorded in the lab notebook, and then they're transcribed into an Excel document. And we do the three different levels, where this shows the long cuts, which use the lightest weights in our test. This is the first thing we graph into Excel. It has a sharpness correction factor, too. And uh, then we do the shortcuts, which the, uh, it's a lot lower on the, on the blade travel. This is with much heavier weight. So you do the, the long cuts and the short cuts, and then you go back and do one that's in between those two levels. So the third step is to do the, the ones that are in between. And you can see from the line that what you do then is you, you look for the place on the line where 
there's 20 millimeters of blade travel per the ASTM F1790 standard. So you can either draw the line there and see that it's a little over 2,000, or we think it's more accurate to use the equation of the line. So we use the equation of the line with, from the 15 data points, and we calculate that it's 2,008.9 grams, which is an ANSI cut level four. If you look at the code here, we've done the ASTM test. We grafted all of the um, 15 data points. We've calculated where 20 millimeters of uh, blade travel crosses the line of the weights, and it, we come out with 2,009 grams, which is an ANSI cut level four, well into the ANSI cut level four for an excellent cut level four rating.